Welcome back to another Nate and Tech vlog. This is vlog number 14. Uh, it has been a while since I've put out a video. I've actually been traveling a lot this summer. Most weekends uh, we've actually been gone. So I kind of decided just to take a break for a couple months, uh, focus on getting a bunch of stuff done. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of stuff, uh, things here to talk about, some updates and whatnot. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. The biggest one uh, that I wanted to go over is I do have the DA and the DB, the 90 to 93 Integras. The center console cup holder is done. Um, I've shown kind of some samples of this before, but this is what it looks like installed. Um, there are two cups that go in here. I actually have, so what you'd be getting in the, uh, in your package will be this piece which uses these four screw holes and mounts into the factory, uh, factory location. Um, and then you've got the two cups that drop in and these are tapered. So you actually drop them in and then push them down just a little bit for a pressure fit. Just kind of make them even and you are good to go. Uh, the manual DA does not need any modification at all. Unfortunately, the automatic has, and I've got a, a picture uh, that one of my testers sent to me. I'll post it up right here. But under the left cup is the park lock solenoid. Uh, he did remove his because he wanted a cup holder a little more. Do this at your own risk, uh, but he did remove the park lock solenoid. From his, it sits literally directly under this cup. Uh, he removed his and he had no clearance issues. So be forewarned, without the park lock solenoid, you can just take your car out of park and put it into any gear without having to put your foot on the brake. I do not recommend it. Do, you know, do at your own risk, um, but it is possible for the automatics. Like I so said, that is for the same for the two door and the four door. I'm also going to be sending one of these overseas to a guy that has a right hand drive and make sure that it works as well. Uh, my program allows me to mirror this or, or flip it. So it's exactly opposite and we're gonna go ahead and have him test. If it works, then these will also be available for uh, the right hand drive Integras. So this is what you'll get in your package with a sticker. Uh, the next one. For use Volkswagen guys, I believe it was the 78 or 79 to I think 84, uh, I'll post it up back here, I don't remember the exact years. For the, uh, the Westy dash, I've got these cup holders, one screw each, puts them directly in place of the broken ashtray, one of the very common issues that people have with the Westy dash, uh, that cup holder, or not sorry, the cup holder, but the uh, that ashtray just breaks and nobody's ever put anything back in there. So it's just a dead space. So one screw, it actually has to go all the way from the front here. I do include, or at least have the option to include a six inch ex uh, bit extension uh, that you can use to put the screw in. I will include uh, hardware. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do four screws just in case you accidentally drop one. There'll be four screws included with each set that you can buy. I'm gonna make them available as individuals as well, just in case. Um, I'll be updating the website here pretty quick uh, once the pre-orders and all that stuff is done. So, oh, so the DA Integras, and these are available for pre-order right now on the website, www.natentech.com. Uh, post it up below here. Uh, and then I'll be working on a couple other dashes for the Volkswagens uh, coming up. but. Uh, there is two options. This is the left one for basically the driver's side is wide one. If you are over six feet, since these cars have a pretty small or short um, interior, I'm making an option where this piece will actually move over for those that are over six feet and it'll shift over probably about almost an inch. Uh, I, I don't remember the exact millimeters that I, I measured it over but it'll move over to give you a little bit more knee clearance so you're not always bumping it with your knee. I do have a friend that is 6'6", and with the one that's moved over, he doesn't have any issues with it. So there will be two options. 
as well as the option to have the, the six inch bit extension as well. So that is for the Westie dash for, I believe it was the 79 to 84, I'll post it up here, uh, Volkswagen Caddies. I do not know all the terminology, which all the models that that dash came in. So if you're familiar with that, definitely uh, take a look. Um, I have been working on some, I believe it's a second gen 4Runner. This is a replacement cup holder for that one. It just slides in. It's got two little hooks here. Let's see if you can see them. There's a hook right here and one on this side. So once you put it in and then you pull it out just a little bit, it'll, it'll kind of lock in place. It won't pop out on its own. Uh, but you can also slide it in. I, I've made this so that if you just have cans in it or whatnot, the, that lip on the top of the dash doesn't interfere. But if you do want, you know, a fountain drink or like an iced tea can or something in here that's a little bit taller, you can actually pull it out an inch or so to get that clearance. So it kind of gives you the, the, um, the option of that. Uh, a little more on the functionality side. I have a buddy that's tested his uh, going off-roading and he hasn't had any issues with the cup, the cup spilling or anything like that. And he got some from pretty steep hills and you know, side to side, stuff like that on his Forerunner with no issues. So nice on these. This one, and I, I'll probably make this an option. Uh, he does chew, so he requested a little spot here for his chew can. Uh, I will have this model available as well as uh, one that doesn't have that. It'll just, it'll just stop back here and be kind of rounded off. So uh, this should be available here in the next few weeks. I'm hoping September, beginning of September, this will be available to at least pre-order, if not order. Again, that was for the second gen 4Runners. I got lucky to get my hands on this. Actually, a customer sent me a lower, where did I put it? So it's kind of a, it's the lower radio console. The lower radio console for the wagons. No, I'm not replicating this. This is a pretty big piece. But what I did build was a cup holder I do a cup holder that works with this model. And again, this should be also be able to be flipped to work with right hand drives. We'll be testing that as well. But this piece sits on my other model. Well, you know, it won't work with this lip because it goes up or the other one just follows the, the stock console and goes down. So this one will mount right here. You can kind of see how it follows the contour all the way around. It is going to double side sticky tape, hopefully just across here, because it'll pressure fit and not teeter, because it'll have, it'll be touching here and also touching on the, the lower console. So hopefully just one strip of tape on this one. That'll make it so you can remove this piece without having to break that, that sticky tape. If I put it on both of them, they're kind of stuck together. And um, I'm hoping to make this, you know, as simple as possible to remove here if I have to get in there. So this one is, this one is for the two wheel drive. Uh, I've got a couple more little tweaks to it. It's got a little more flex than I want this way, but that's because of how thin this is. Or it's still three millimeters thick, but um, I'm debating if I want to put the two little um, walls right here, like I did on the other wagon cup holders uh, for a little tray. If I do that, it's gonna make it harder to get to the things behind it, which is the whole point of having one of the JDM consoles. So I'm kind of going back and forth. I may send this off to be tested uh, with one of the guys that has one and see if it, how structurally sound it is once you put some cups in it and it's taped down. But this is pretty close to what that one will look like. And then I will also be doing an RT model just because. And once I get, I'm gonna try to track down one for the hatches and the sedans, uh, cause they are a, they are a thinner console uh, width wise. If I can get my hands on one of those, even just one to you know, borrow for a few weeks so I can get some measurements on it, I will be doing one pretty much just like this for those that have that lower radio console and want a cup holder. Uh, last big thing I want to talk about, and this one's been kind of fun. Uh, my somebody that has the 4Runner also has a 2018 Ford F-150 and he's got and I'm going to draw a blank, but I'll put it up right here. It's a little three inch screen that gives them all the readouts for like his EGTs and some of his turbo stuff for the diesel. And 
there isn't really a good mounting system out there for it. There's one that holds, you know, it um, just attaches to the suction, the little one of the suction cups that goes on the dash or the windshield, and it. Everybody complains that it keeps falling off. So what we came up with is a way to put it inside the vent. So this is the factory vent. It just pops out on the on the left side there. And what I did. And this uses the the screen uses an HDMI cable, just standard HDMI, nothing special. So what I did was I bought a little, it's about a six inch extension, but it uses a ribbon cable instead of just your normal round cables. And what I did was I made a little L bracket, and this is actually this back piece here. Oh, where did I put my other one? Dang, I don't remember where I put it. Anyway, so I rebuilt the whole back piece so I could get some screws into it um, and attach this piece correctly. This is just a little L bracket, but it's got a groove in it so that this, this can, you know, your HDMI cable can slide into it. Cable goes down in and comes out here. Let's see if we can get this in the camera correctly. Anyway, the ribbon cable comes out this little slot on the top routes around and comes over to the female side where you plug in the cable from the box so it's all one piece this once you put it together which is not hard it's two screws you pop this the silver piece and the, the vents and these still allow you to twist a little bit obviously we got a limitation it's going to hit this but um, you pop the center of these off and this, this chrome ring just pops off. Put it on this one, bolt this little L bracket in with the cable, attach the cable right here, pop it back in and you are good to go. And then the actual screen just uses that HDMI mount as the mount. It doesn't use the factory little, you push it on and then kind of slide it sideways. So this is actually gonna hopefully get tested tomorrow for fitment. And things like that. I've already tested this piece, but I haven't had a chance to test the rest of it. So, if this is pretty close, these will be available for pre-order for you uh, Ford F-150 guys that have the diesels and want that. I don't know if it works with the gas or not. I'd have to ask him. Uh, anyway, this will be. And I, he said there's also some other screens that use that same HDMI uh, connection that we could possibly also use this with as well. So anyway, stay tuned for this. I'll be putting more updates this week. Uh, I do have some more reviews coming out that I'll be doing separate videos for. But definitely head over to www.natantech.com. Check out all the new products we've got. I did do a new products page that has little kind of like cartoons of each one of the cars. So you can sort by what car you have. If you have a CRX or a sedan, wagon, the hatch. Um, I do have a DA Integra on there and also the MK1 uh, Volkswagens. I'm starting to get some stuff for them. I do have a ton more products coming out. Just want to kind of give you an overview of what I've been working on this summer and getting this stuff done. I am now shipping overseas, uh, not just to Canada. I pretty much will ship anywhere you guys want. So hit me up for a quote if you're wanting something outside of USA or Canada. I'm more than willing to ship it there. Uh, we'll just get the shipping stuff to, sorted out. If you do, if you are overseas, uh, it is, I've looked up a few different areas and it is much cheaper if you guys buy like 10 at a time. Uh, so if you have a bunch of buddies that want some parts or whatnot, we can kind of group some stuff together and kind of get you guys a group uh, shipping cost as opposed to each buddy, you know, everybody paying like 25 bucks a pop. Uh, I think I did one a while back. It was like 60 bucks to ship the whole box, but I was able to get like 10 in there. So it was only like $6 shipping per person. So it definitely pays to have uh, multiple people kind of go in on one big order. So definitely email me. Uh, it's just natantech at gmail.com. If you guys have any questions, hit me up below if you guys have any questions. I'm also on Facebook, uh, just Nate and Tech on Facebook. Search for us there. You guys can post anything. Uh, on there, I've been updating that on the website. I just haven't had a chance to kind of get some videos out because of time. Again, hit us up below. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe. I'm going to be putting out a whole bunch more videos this winter. 
try to get at least a vlog once a week, if not more, depending on how much stuff I've got going on, uh, information-wise to show you guys. And uh, we'll see you next time.